Only on CBS This Morning, Dylan Farrow is speaking for the very first time on TV about her sexual assault allegations against her adoptive father, actor and director Woody Allen. At the age of seven, Dylan told her mother, actress Mia Farrow, that Allen had molested her. Allen has always denied the allegations. Dylan Farrow has stood by her story for more than two decades now. She first went public back in 2014 with an open letter in the New York Times and now right here on CBS This Morning. We spoke with Farrow at her Connecticut home on Monday, where she went into detail about what allegedly happened one August morning. I want to show my face and tell my story. I want to speak out, literally. Dylan Farrow is 32 and has been married for almost eight years. She's a mother of a 16-month-old girl and she's still carrying the emotional scars she says she got at the hands of her father. I loved my father. I respected him. He was my hero. And that doesn't obviously take away from what he did, but it does make the betrayal and the hurt that much more intense. Let's go to August 4th, 1992. And if you could tell us what happened that day. I uh, was taken to a small attic crawl space in uh, my mother's uh, country house in Connecticut um, by my father. He instructed me to lay down on my stomach and play with my brother's toy train that was set up. And uh, he sat behind me in the doorway. And as I played with the toy train, I was sexually assaulted. As a seven-year-old, I would say, I would have said he touched my private parts. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. <laughs> Which I, I did say. All right, all right. As a 32-year-old, he touched my labia mm -hmm. and my vulva with his finger. Where was your mother? She went shopping that day. And then after you told her, what happened? She was upset. My first impulse was that I had done something wrong. Mia Farrow took Dylan to the pediatrician. But when the doctor asked her where she had been touched, the little girl pointed to her shoulder. She said, why didn't you tell the doctor what you told me? And I told her that I was embarrassed. And then we went back in. You went back in and then you told him. And I told the doctor. The same thing that you had told your mother. Yes. Alan had suggested that Dylan changed her story because she had been coached by her mother. Months earlier, Mia had found in his apartment nude pictures of her daughter, Suni whom she had adopted during an earlier marriage. Alan confessed to an affair with Suni. The two remain a couple to this day, married for more than 20 years. You could see why he might make that claim. He would say that she was filled with rage after his affair with Suni had been discovered and that she was out for revenge and full of rage. And what I don't understand is how is this crazy story of me being brainwashed and coached more believable than what I'm saying about being sexually assaulted by my father. Because your mother was very angry so that she would try to coach you and try to get you to turn against your father. Except every step of the way, my mother has only encouraged me to tell the truth. She's never coached me. I wanted to play a clip from 60 Minutes, uh, an interview that he did at the time where he was asked about that incident are you okay with looking at it? You okay? Isn't it illogical that I'm going to, at the height of a, a very bitter, acrimonious custody fight, drive up to Connecticut where nobody likes me in the house. I'm, I'm with a house full of enemies. I mean, Mia was so enraged at me and, and she had gotten all the kids to, to be angry at me that I'm gonna drive up there and suddenly, on visitation, pick this moment in my life to become a child molester. It's just, it's just incredible. I could, if I wanted to be a child molester, I had many opportunities in the past. I could have quietly made a, a, a custody settlement with Mia in some way and done it in the future. I mean, you know, it's so insane. What do you say to that? I'm really sorry. Don't apologize. Don't apologize. I thought I could handle it. I am. Um... Are you crying because of what he said or seeing him? What is upsetting you? He's lying, and he's been lying for so long. And it is difficult for me to see him and to hear his voice. I'm sorry. 
Alan had adopted Dylan and her 13-year-old brother Moses the previous December. The couple also had a younger son, Ronan. But as Mia Farrell's boyfriend, Alan had been a part of Dylan's life since she was a baby. Dylan says that the incident in the attic wasn't the only time his behavior had been inappropriate. What would he do? He would follow me around. He was always touching me, cuddling me, and if I ever said, you know, like, I, I want to go off by myself, he wouldn't let me. Some could say that's a very doting and loving father. Except he wasn't this way with Ronan. What I else would, would he do? He often asked me to get into bed with him when he had only his underwear on, um, and sometimes when only I had my underwear on. Woody Allen was never charged with a crime in this case. Both New York State child welfare investigators and a report by the Yale New Haven Hospital found that the abuse did not happen. The Connecticut state prosecutor on the case, Frank Mako, questioned the Yale New Haven report's credibility, saying there was probable cause to charge Allen, but he thought Dylan was too fragile to face a celebrity trial. Do you wish that they would have gone ahead and filed the charges? Because then you would have to have taken the stand. You know, honestly, yes. I do wish that they had, you know, even if I'm just speaking in retrospect, I was already traumatized. Here's the thing. I mean, outside of a court of law, we do know what happened in the attic on that day. I just told you. We reached out to former Connecticut prosecutor Frank Mako earlier this week. He tells us that in his experience, there was no manipulation by Mia Farrow. He adds nothing in the state police investigation indicated that Dylan was in any way being controlled or manipulated by her mother. In a statement to CBS this morning, Woody Allen writes in part, even though the Farrow family is cynically using the opportunity afforded by the Times Up movement to repeat this discredited allegation, that does not make it any more true today than it was in the past. I never molested my daughter. Now, you can read his full statement at cbsthismorning.com. It's a very lengthy statement. He has a response to what she's saying today. You know, I remember reading her, her op-ed, but I to hear her tell the story, so painful, clearly, for her and to see her, her adoptive father again. And you know what, Nora, that is why she wanted to do a TV interview, because she said sometimes when you just see the written words, it doesn't translate. Right. She wanted people to see how strongly she felt about it, how pained she is by it. And she thought that maybe it was lost in translation because so many people did not believe her. We'll see. You said it best, I thought yesterday, John, when you said maybe people are listening with new ears now. Yeah, and is that, is that what she hopes, or is this she hopes that now she's been able to tell it, it helps her heal? Well, you know, I think she just wants to tell her story and let people make their own decision. Mm -hmm. I think that's where she is at this point. We will have part two of our conversation with Dylan Farrow in our next hour. She tells us about the support she's received in Hollywood and the advice she plans to give her own young daughter. That's ahead.